Hello, ladies. Welcome to Melody Made. It's Wild Wednesday. And today's Wild Wednesday, I had put a poll in my community, um, on my community tab. And uh, bright colors were the winner. Secondly, um, uh, pastels and then metallics. And so I thought, well, I'll make everybody happy. We'll figure out a way to get all of that in there. So I had a plan um, to use some silk flowers to do a pattern on here. And I have some colors chosen, but I wanted to announce um, first off that um, I'm having a, a personal uh, dramatic situation in my home. Um, one of my, I have two little dogs and uh, one of them is going to have to be put down on Friday. And so we are spending our time with them uh, very diligently. And so I'm going to do this video and then I am going to uh, stop everything, um, no swapping glues, no other videos um, until Monday, most likely. And so I want to thank you for your patience with me and understanding. Um, we, we all have been here and it can be a very difficult thing. So I appreciate your prayers um, and uh, healing vibes. But uh, let's get to this because in all reality, this is healing for me. And so this is why, even though I could have easily said, I'm not going to do this today, you guys would have understood. I need to do it. My husband has come home for lunch to hang out with him so he's not alone. I will do this and then I will go up and I will uh, take the next shift. So I want to thank you so much for joining me and let's get started. So my plan was is that I would work with some of these cosmic shimmers, right, which give us um, the metallic look. And my board is already dirty from last week's and that's okay because layers, 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 right? So I'm gonna put this on here and I'm not gonna worry about full coverage necessarily. I'm just gonna make sure that it's not too blotchy. Um, and we will figure out the rest. So what my plan was is, is to make images with these, I wonder if it would be best to maybe use another tool than my finger because my fingernails get in the way you guys wonder how can i do what i do with these fingernails sometimes i can't sometimes it just they get in the way uh, it's not a doesn't necessarily look like a flower but it'll work so i'm just going to do that because i have other options too these are just the background right okay so that's kind of fun and this is oh thank you robin Thank you so much. That is so sweet. It's so nice for you to join me and, and give me well wishes like that. It is, as everyone knows, it is always a difficult situation losing a pet um, as we get older, especially, and they're basically the children in the house, you know. So I'm trying to see which one of these flowers will give me. This one gave me more of the look that I was looking for. So I'm just going to keep going. This one's a little bit bigger. Um, so this would be called masking, um, not masking, stamping. And then if I would was to leave this on here, which I was thinking about doing, so that this one would stay um, protected from the next layer of paint, right? Hi, Kim. How are you, sweetie? Let's see. So this is just, just options. I just had all these different ideas. I have some ferns uh, and the leaves of those flowers that I can put on here. And then I was going to test out on this first one what, what I wanted to see, how it looked so that I knew what I would want to do the next time. Right, so, so first off, let's do this. Let's take a piece of paper and take off the green around. Yeah, see, you now we did two things. We've seen that we could put that down and then we pulled it up the front. But that's really pretty. Can you see that right there? So I think I'm going to do that. Wow. Okay, so that was successful. I'm happy with that. Let me do this. And that, so I have the ferns down. Now let's pull this up and look at that. Hi, Annie. How are you, sweetie? Look at that. 
So we got our metallic shimmer in there that uh, was voted on. And now I'm going to bring in a bright color because, well, what do I usually say? Frankly, my dear, because we can, right? We're just going to get a pop of pink in there. Come on. There we go. I'm going to go over it and try not to ruin the underneath, but got to get it on there okay so now i'm going to pull this up and i'm going to see because i really don't know until i do it what i'm going to end up with so i think it's best to practice a little bit before i get going on something that i'm just like oh wow i know what i'm doing now okay so so far we masked that's where you leave something on there and no paint comes up in that area that's masking this is stamping where you're uh, leaving an image there in the paint. And then we have a very vibrantly pink, but you can see the shape of the, there's the fern, there's a fern there, and then there's that flower. So now I can kind of, now I have pink in there. So I am going to put down this yellow because I was thinking about working with these brighter colors first because they won the, the pole, isn't the pink beautiful? Now we're gonna throw some yellow on there and yellow and pink when they mix up will make a beautiful orange. So it's not a problem if they blend a little bit. But I'm gonna try, get the lines a little bit less drastic. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna put these back on there and I'm gonna do that again. Cause that was the thing I think other than the um, ferns, that I liked the best. So I'll do this again multiple times. I have quite a few because I took them apart. Not quite a few, I have three. But I have the ferns and I can see a flower right there and I can see some fern shape right there. So I don't wanna put these right on top of the ones that I had already done and then this fern. So let's see what we get with this. Right, so now we're going to take the paper and we're going to put it over it and we're going to leave that color underneath those and bring up some color, you know, uh, pull up the color around them a little bit. So they're masking in a way. And then we will roll some paint over that and then we'll see what we get. But that's really pretty too, different, right? Oops, come on. Oh, camera, thank you. There we go. Oh my goodness. Cameras, technology, it's all so frustrating sometimes. It really is. Then you all know. One way or another, whether it's your phone, your camera, your laptop, your computer, your tablet, it's always something. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about putting this down in the pink and getting it kind of, and I'm going to, lay that down and see if I can leave an image there. There we go. Now that spot's just not empty. So we have yellow, we have pink. I'm going to pull this up with this um, aqua green, kind of going for a shabby chic feel. Shabby, shabby. Okay. So, come on, paint. These paints have been around for a while. And so I think what I'm going to do is spray a little bit of water on there. See if I can get it thinned out a little bit. I don't know. This might just have to be a thin layer on top and then we do something else. I don't know if this will saturate enough to pull it all up. We'll see. We will see what happens. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to put another color in here just because, and then I'm going to pull this up with the sticker paper. Oh my goodness. Do you ever just, you have lost your patience with the world, right? It's like, you just feel like everything is so drastically frustrating if it doesn't go just your way. That's me today. That is me today. Okay, so I want to pull this up with sticker paper and see what I can get with it, maybe. Okay, that's a couple of pages. So these are 
four by two, four by, I don't know. These are something, something, something. Let's see. These are fun. Oh my gosh. Look what we did. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, I don't see flowers necessarily, but that is so fun. It's almost pastel y, isn't it? I think maybe I went past more pastel than I went bright, but I love that. That has huge possibilities. Huge possibilities. I am happy with that. So let's let's add another color and let's do this teal, this uh, shimmer. <laughs> Uh, peacock. It is cool, huh, Chris? I or I'm sorry, Kim. It's um, it's fun. You know, I I never know. I always hope, but I never know just how everything's going to turn out. But I can always hope that. Um, but I think using these uh, flowers to break up the background is giving us some fun fun options. Now, what did we decide? We decided this one did a better, right? Am I right? Does anyone remember? Yeah, that one gives us a better imprint. And then I'm just going to see about pulling it up because it'll still be damp enough. But I'm just going to put this and I'm you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this on the envelope. I am going to put this on a big envelope. This would be a beautiful That center part is what's making it kind of a fun print. You see that right there? Hi, Life with Patty. Wow, we got a party. We got a party going. Who's making margaritas? <laughs> Not me. My hands are busy. <laughs> so you can always tell one of my um, original prints and or original envelopes and things because I paint the back. I don't leave them white. If it's a white background, that means that I printed it out. But the originals almost always have paint on the back. So let's see. Let's see. Look at that. It could have used more and definitely more balance. But that is stunning. Isn't that stunning? I think I might scan that one in. So that would be a um, swap and glue envelope or a happy mail envelope. Let's let's do the opposite now. Let's throw this down there and see if we can get some blue back on there. It's looking like it. It's looking like it. Let's see if we can do that and then maybe an envelope. All right. Let's see if I grab if I grab my um gloss medium here, Liquitex gloss medium. And I use this when I don't want a color on the background, right? I just want what I put on there to show up on my envelope, my white envelope. Let's see what this would look like. Now, and that might be a little too much. It might not come up to strike, but we'll always get a ghost print. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nope, not a print, but still abstract and fun right you never know thing is is that i still think and you know what i could do this is what i could do this is what i could do let's throw these down here right like this because we're doing a small project and try to get my green i don't know why i like to work with green and blue so much i'll switch to purple and pink here in a second okay come on it's obviously time to buy more of that neon green shimmer. I ended up buying that because a friend loves it. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Got all that on there. You see this? Oh, she's not here yet. I was going to say, you see this, Melissa? Okay, anyways, now we're going to put this on top of that. Right? There she is, Miss America. You look so beautiful today on camera, my dear. So beautiful. Okay, so look, 
we layered the green on top of there. You can't see the flowers because it's not contrasting enough, but it's still a fun envelope. And I'll set it aside and see. So, so far, Melissa, we've made the sticker page out of kind of a pastel with a shimmer in it. And we made this. Look at that. I'm using silk flowers. It's not 100% successful, but not much of what I do is 100% successful. I am probably at the, I would say maybe 70%, and that's being generous. But it's still, doing it is what's the joy for me. Um, if something turns out successful and ready to print and become something even better, then, you know, that's a big thing. But it's not necessarily the end all be all of why I do what I do, huh, ladies? Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. Try to add a little bit of, and I'll use this side of this. And then we will see if we can bring out another color. Hi, Tanisha Kay. It's been a long time. How are you? So we have that really pretty green. What? I'm, I'm going to go lighter this time. Um, so that maybe we have enough contrast. If I go too dark, it'll swallow that green up. But after this color, we'll start. I always say that. I actually kind of fib. So you know what? Don't always listen to me. Just go, yeah, sure. She says that, but she's going to do whatever she's going to do next anyway. That's kind of the way I roll. Not necessarily proud of it. Throw this in here on the edges because I like it. It's one of my favorite things. And then I'm going to put an envelope on there because I really need envelopes for my swap and glues. It's a party. Hi, Emma. Oh, you guys. It's so fun that you all came. It was the perfect day for you guys to all be here. If you missed the beginning of my video, I made the unfortunate and sad announcement that uh, one of our pups, we have two small dogs, two rescues, and uh, one of them um, had very bad prognosis and is uh, terminate, terminally ill. <gasps> and um, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Is it just me? Oh, good, Emma. That'll be fun. Make sure you share in the group. Anyways, um, our pup is uh, going to be passing away on Friday. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, schedule it for Friday because it's just so hard to do it in the middle of the week and have to work and everything. So anyways, what I what I announced is that all my swap and glues are going to have to be put on hold until Monday. I'm not going to go to the post office or um, do any uh, more videos after today until Monday. Look at that. That's actually kind of fun. I think I'm going to leave that like that. You see those? I like that. Thank you. Thank you, Mimi. I knew. See, the thing is, is that I could have easily said I'm not going to come on today. And everyone, all of you would have been absolutely fabulously wonderful and said, we understand you go have a good day, blah, blah, blah. But this is my therapy. This is um, how I soothe myself. And my husband's here with him upstairs. And um, so he's not alone right now. And when I get done, my husband will go back to work. And I will have all these beautiful, wonderful thoughts and prayers from you guys because you are so sweet and kind and spent this time with me. Boom. So we are getting bold. Bold and beautiful. Is that a, is that a, um, okay, what can I do to what can I do to really go on? Let's use this black paper and see if it has anything. See that? Oh, oh! I can only imagine him. We lost Molly, who was a um, she was part. Oh, she was a uh, uh, not pug. Um, what was she? I'm a little confused right now. I think um, Molly was a lab and beagle mix, and we lost her extremely suddenly. 
last year this same month. And now it's happening again, not as suddenly. We're going to have at least a little bit of time with him and understand, you know, what happened. Because we did have testing done. Look at that. Now, is that bold? Add green. I will. I will find my green. You, now, you got to tell me, though, do you want a deep green, a light green, a pastel green? You pick it. I'll put it in there here. And I'm going to bring these colors back because the green in there would be really cool. So let me do that again. I liked that. This pink. This pink is vivid violet. Thank you, Emma. I put a um, I put a thing up that asked, you know, what what kind of colors and uh, bold colors won, but um, pastels and metallics were second and third. So I thought I'll just try to I'll just try to get a little bit of everything. So there, we recreated that. Oh my gosh, that's so seldom that I can actually do that. Now I and there's already still um, the where these blues are coming from is because it was stuck to the plate, right? Deep. <laughs> Deep green. Oh my goodness. Okay. Holly green is what I got right next to me. And Annie says light green. So we'll go back and forth. Or we could do both because, well, I am that talented sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. So let's say we do that. We put the deep green right there. And I find. Or let's say I spy with my little eye something that I can use. Like this. Right? So when I pop that green on here, I even grab the yellow. I pop the green in there in a random way. So there we have our we have our pink, we have our green. There's even some of the yellow in there. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to grab a light green right here. Make huge messes everywhere because, yes, ladies, that is the way that I roll. I roll with a mess, and it's uh, something I cannot control. So I'm going to put this. Is this the one I want? New one? I'm not sure this is the one I want, but I think so, so I'm going to put it down. And then I'm going to find, oh, that's not good because I put pens in that one. This, and I'm going to take this green, and I'm going to smear it down inside of there in random ways. So we're going to be kind of making a bright colored grungy look. All right, so we got our colors in there, but it's in a grungy, haphazard way. So there we go. Add some more. Put some more in there. Let's see, where do I want it? I want it here. And I'll add some more of that yellow. That'll lighten up some areas. Got to get some in the center, otherwise it's gonna it's gonna look empty if it's not in there. So um, let's see, easy. Okay, so my whole craft area is a mess. So is mine. You make a mess on my desk every time you do it on. Yeah. Okay, so they're in there. It's not fabulous. I've done better, but sometimes we, you know, we just go. Hmm. That'll do, because we're just kind of going grungy, right? Remember, we did, we liked this one a lot. We thought this was really fun. And I think I'm going to do an envelope, so it'll be something I can send out. So I'm thinking now we have our pink, we have some light green, we have the dark green pops in there. So let's pull this up with a white or off-white so that we have some contrast. And I'm going to pull all of this off. Turn it over, pretend that other part no longer exists. Sound like I farted, which I did not. Honestly, I wouldn't tell you if I did though. So don't trust me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, like I did last time, I'm going to take my favorite tool, which is a candy 
box and I'm going to add some texture to the corners. I don't know why, but that makes me happy to have corners. <laughs> happy Maker says laugh out loud. Mimi says laugh out loud. Emma says laugh out loud. Tanisha says laugh out loud. Yay, I'm glad I'm making you guys laugh because this is this is a day where I need to make people laugh. You guys know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta let go and not worry about what's appropriate, right? That's why we call it Wild Wednesday, because you never know what I'm going to come up with to do or say. Okay, so this is our second sticker page. And wow, ladies, how fun is that for random? These would be fabulous, absolutely fabulous um, um, boards, you know, the master boards where you cut them out and make the ATCs and things. Different, but it's fun. Yes, we are getting crazy up in here. I like this one the best, and I think it's because I got so much yellow in there. So now I'm feeling like, or maybe it was the green. I don't know. But let's put this on here because that's what I always do is try to, one, is get this line out of here because the sticker paper left the line. Two, we don't want to waste any more paint than we have to. So we just layer it. It's just there. It doesn't matter if it's doing anything fantastic. It could be standing by the wall and not at the dance to dance just to watch everyone else dance, right? It's a wallflower. Okay, so throw all this paper away. I've got some mush and must and things. I'm going to put this in there to try to texture it a little bit. If you can see that that little plastic thing is creating. Thank you. I haven't done bright colors like that in a long time. Let's see about our metallics though, because we could easily bring in some copper. And then go back to the teal, right? And we have that that uh, ivory in there underneath the copper, which will be gorgeous, probably. Probably. Copper is gorgeous in general. So let me wrap it up with this first. So we probably won't see those delicate flowers at the back, but the, it'll still be there in its own way. I got, a, I got a string on here. There we go. We'll leave it for texture. The line. Um, so now we could do a couple things, honestly. Always options. Let's take that and put it on top of here and see if I can pick up some of that copper on top of this image. And also leave some texture at the bottom there. So I'm not just kind of fun layering things up. There's our texture. Yeah, we're not going to see the stuff below that we thought, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh my goodness, it is, you know, and I, I don't remember how much I paid for these, but they were not cheap. But you can tell that I've really loved them because they're almost empty. Yep, there goes all the lace. It goes everything. Okay, I'll just start fresh. There might be a little bit of texture back there by the time we're done, but this is a piece of wallpaper. You see that? How it's textured? Come on, camera. Yeah, see that? So now, let's put, and I haven't used it yet. I've had it for a while. Friend gave it to me. And I'm thinking that that will leave a lovely imprint. And look what happened with that. That could be cut out and put in a journal. I like that. I'm going to put it on the envelope. Remember, our copper is back there and our little bit of ivory. So we don't know what will happen. It's a mystery. It is a mystery. <laughs> Ready, set. Oh, there's the metallics for the for the metallics, ladies. And we had some um, pastel -y colors for the pastel ladies, and we've had bright colors for the bright ladies. Not fun. 
and just in a few pulls, like we just changed gears. We went from bright and cheery to um, elegant. Not fun. And that's an envelope, guys. So that one I can throw um, a half an hour or something. So to clean off the board, I am going to, I think I'm going to do something that I think will look good. Is I'm going to take, there's that teal and copper and everything on there. I'm going to take this really light um, coastline blue. Emma, that was um, a plastic uh, tablecloth that I've cut into chunks. And I'm going to use some of it to dye paper and some of it I use on the on the jelly plate. I think that this will be a good contrast for that teal. And it should bring up some of that. So, but I'm going to do my corners. I'm going to do one more envelope. And... Let's do this. I'm hoping that, that that deep teal pops out or blends in or does something, but does it in a beautiful way anyways. Right? All righty, here we go. Oh my goodness, it looks, oh, oh. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Happy Maker. Oh, you guys, it's so awesome. Everyone's here. But look at that. See how, and 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 uh, Melissa, do you see? And Emma, do you see why I chose to? There was bits on there of these really rich colors. Remember? You see how rich this was? And so I put on this really matted, um, matted light blue pale that it was going to, kind of tone down those colors but we still have the shapes it's just stunning it almost looks like um worn tiles or decorations in uh italy oh thank you melissa you're so sweet this one this one's this one's what i call uh the bread and butter this one i'm gonna scan that one in that one's gorgeous so we have one two three and four successful oh it's stuck to another one um envelopes right and then hi jo joni it's nice to meet you and then this little one which you know it was just okay if we did it with a flower we got a little bit of fun on there this one i really think that one's fun i'm going to scan that in and maybe make an image out of it that i can put on some i don't know you know me it will figure out something this one was fun. We were using it to mop things up. This one, I think, is my bread and butter on my brights, right? And this one is a sticker page. I really, really, really liked that. This one was a mopping up page. We have a mop up on the back and a mop up on the front. And then this sticker didn't end up as bright, but I still think it has, it has uh, potential, right? The blue one is your favorite. Yes, that is stunning. So I'm going to I'm gonna put the rest of this paint on here to bring up um, whatever's left. And then this will be my last pull. My hubby needs to get back to work. We just uh, we just gave Rudy his um, anti-nausea medicine and uh, pain medicine. And so um, we're just trying not to leave him alone. You know, he's he's just poor guy. He's just looking at us like he don't understand. And the other one, Ricky, who's his bestest friend, they, we call him brothers, is so devastated at watching his brother be this way. It's just, it's just heartbreaking. I'm going to mix these two. I wouldn't normally do this, but today's a wild day, ladies. Today is a wild day. So I'm going to mix these two and then I'm going to call it done. And I want to thank you. This was one of my best in months. Um, you guys just, you guys are so sweet and supportive and kind. And I cannot tell you how much that means to me. You just, you could never know what that means to me at a time like this. Just the perfect time for everyone to show up and be awesome. Let's make stickers again. And you say why? And you know what I'm going to say. Because we can. Now I'm going to break it up a little bit, add um, some dots. And then if some of this green comes off, yay. Happy accident. Doesn't seem to be coming off, but it'll work out. Okay, so let's get the stickers again. Maybe. Yep, we can. 
And that blue and that pink, do you see them here? See them here, that blue and that pink, uh, coastline blue and vivid violet. I think that they're going to make a beautiful couple. They're going to get married and uh, have four little babies. I'll show you what I mean by that. You're going to be like, what? Because you don't remember that this is a sticker page. And there's four stickers on here. So I married those two colors. And we made, look, right, right. Jeez Louise, Melody, do you know how to work a sticker page? No. So we made, that's not the part I wanted. I'm just grabbing everything but what I wanted. <laughs> uh, leave it to me. Okay, so we married those two colors with what was left on the plate. Beautiful pa pastel -y, uh matte finish, right? And look, there's our four babies. You guys go have a great, great Wednesday. Keep it wild. Keep 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 uh, keep your uh, happy vibe going. And big hugs and thank you so much. And um, you know what? We will we will hook up again next week. Bye bye.